stop of the day is here at the Museum of Natural History. And as we enter, a mammoth greets us. It's the Northwest Florida exhibit. has a collection of woodcut prints, stone tools in Florida from pre-Columbian times, the Native American Indians who used to live here. There's three totems from the Northwest North American Indians. This North American mastodon is about 15,000 years old. They were typically 8 to 10 feet high at the shoulder. Nest exhibit is South Florida. The people and environments from South Florida. Six thousand years in South Florida. This is a Calusa Indian and the Seminole family. The Calusas lived in the estuaries long before the Europeans got to Florida. Some of the animals here are the Anhinga, the Great Blue Heron, and a Grackle, and Terns. The people have lived in these estuaries for 12,000 years. If you look, you can see the Calusa back here. Now this is a mangrove. Native Americans called it the walking man tree because it looks like walking into the water. We're under the water here and we've gotten very, very small. Smaller even than the crabs. The toadfish. What's this? Mangrove snapper. He looks evil. Yeah. <laughs> There's a jellyfish. <laughs> the midden. What we see is the midden, the Calusa family. We see them outside of their home. And if you don't know what a midden is and you're asking yourself, what is a midden? It's a trash pile. And by looking through what is in the midden, what is in the trash, we can find out a lot about the people who live there what they ate, what kind of tools they used, some of their customs. It shows a cross-section of a midden going down thousands of years. The Seminole are known for their beautiful patchwork. This was begun when the Seminole were able to get sewing machines. three groups of Native Americans in Florida today. The Seminole, the Miccosukee, and the traditional Seminole. Another exhibit here at the museum, which Greg has entitled. Open your eye and smile. <laughs> <laughs> These are all sharks, and they're all extinct except for the great white. And this one was certainly huge. This leads us into the Hall of Florida Fossils. There's exhibits for all the different periods. Cambrian, Ordovician, and so on. This is the way the Earth probably looked about a million years ago. All the land masses were together. Mm-hmm. And the big expanse of... Pangea. We're at the 
bottom of an ancient sea. And this is the Earth 55 to 34 million years ago. As you can see, this is North America and there is no Florida. As Greg mentioned, at one point, about 65 million years ago, there was just one continent, and that was called Pangea. We've come out of the sea, and we're in the age of the mammals. This is an extinct rhinoceros. And attacking him is the false saber-toothed cat. So what is this here? It's the Xenarthra, which is a, an early sloth. And you can see how big it is. Probably a good 12 feet high. And this is the Earth in the Pleistocene period, which was between 2 million and 10,000 years ago. And you can see that there's a recognizable Florida finally. This is the Barrier Island environmental habitat. A couple of my favorite things, flowers and butterflies. A coach with snake, non-venomous. The Mississippians had an unusual feature Men or women could be chiefs. And this is a woman. And the Florida groups were part of the Mississippian cultures. The newest exhibit is Quilting Around Florida. Some beautiful quilts. This is the hammering man just outside the art museum. <laughs> We're here at the Museum of Art, here at the University of Florida. Beautiful entryway. And we're here in the art museum. This is Rory. <laughs> it's painted metal. Just... This is called Surface and it's a mixed media. Greg at work. This is a collection of African and ancient American artwork. This is the Modern Art Hall. This is Monet's Champ de Rhone, or Outfield. This is called the Blue Vase. This is the African Art Hall. They're having talk time here for the kids. These are the female and male shrine figures. They're from Nigeria. This is a basketry screen from the Tutsi people of Rwanda. Come into the Asian collection. This is Chinese and it's Scholar's Rock. All over the museum, it's taught hour today. This is an eight panel Korean screen. It's lovely. It's 19th century Joseon Dynasty. We're definitely enjoying our tour of the museum. Well, that was a nice visit. Wonder what we'll be doing next. <laughs>